I will be reading a portion of the children's book, Natural or Man-Made, by Kelly Hicks. Think about it. Take a drink of water. Play a game on the computer. Have you thought about where the water came from or how the computer was made? Everything in our world is either natural or man-made. What makes something natural? Think of the things that come directly from the environment. Air, water, and soil are resources that exist in nature. People cannot make natural resources. People can change natural resources. Something created by a person that does not occur naturally in the environment is man-made. Let's see if we can decide what is natural and what is man-made. Take a walk outside. Breathe in the fresh air and look around. Do you see any trees? The air is natural, and so are the trees. People use the trees to make new things. Trees are cut down to make lumber to build houses. We can also change trees into paper. Paper is man-made. When you visit the beach, you can feel the sand between your toes. Nobody makes the sand. It occurs naturally in the environment. Some people use the sand to make glass bottles or jars. A glass bottle or jar is man-made. Have you ever heard of limestone? It is a type of rock that occurs naturally in the environment. We dig limestone from the earth and use it as stones for buildings. We also use limestone to make toothpaste. Toothpaste is man-made. Clay also comes from nature. It comes from finely ground materials. People mold clay into plates, pots for plants, and floor tiles. Clay pottery is man-made. Many living things eat fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables are natural. Did you know that people use carrots, avocados, grapes, and even cucumbers to make other things? People use them to make shampoo and skin lotion. Shampoo and lotion are both man-made. Wheat is a type of grass found in many parts of the world. Wheat is natural. We use it to make cereal and flour. We also weave it into baskets or mats. Cereal, flour, baskets, and mats are all man-made. 